Hi everyone, my name is Saria Freeman and I'm here today to talk to you about open innovation and how it can help your company cope in lean time. This is all based off an article written by Henry Chesbro and Andrew Garman. All right, so what is open innovation to you? Open innovation is, comes in many different forms, okay? But innovation is breaking down traditional corporate boundaries. Open innovation allows intellectual property and ideas and people to flow freely both in and out and throughout the organization. There are two approaches in open innovation, the outside-in approach and the inside-out approach. With the inside-out approach, it refers to the process where a business places some of its assets or projects outside of its own walls. It's, this will allow you to save time and money. With the outside-in approach to open innovation, it's basically like an inbound flow. Okay, how the outsiders' contributions enable an enterprise to create offerings whose scale by lies in internal capabilities. Okay, save you time and money. The authors talk specifically about five moves to open innovation that will help a company in lean time. Okay, all five of these moves allow a company to focus on its core operations today while preserving growth options for tomorrow. Move one, become a customer or supplier of your former internal projects. You're gonna pursue a project as a customer or a supplier instead of developing and bringing it to market on your own. You take a smaller role and this will help reduce costs and risk for your company. Move two, let others develop your non-strategic initiatives. Spin-off projects. Best case scenario, you'll maintain your equity position, you'll acquire the spin-off and you sell your position to investors. Worst case scenario, the scarce funds that you're using to support actually becomes reduced or even eliminated. Tough economic times calls for refocus. So let's eliminate distractions. Move to allows you to spin off projects in order to do so. Killing these projects haven't yet that haven't yet proven their potential or lie outside the core is an easy way to refocus. Move three, make your IP work harder for you. Okay, you're gonna put your IP to work in other companies. You're gonna take it off the shelf and just let it work for you. You manage your assets at a corporate level rather than a business level. So concerns about minor competitive risks don't threaten your growth opportunity. Move four, Grow your ecosystem even when you are not growing. Options that don't align specifically with the company's core business can be hard to maintain in tough times. However, luckily, some of these options might prosper outside of the company, but still within the ecosystem. Move five, create open domains to reduce costs and expand participation. Bringing internal ideas and projects out into an open domain has a practical benefit of shifting costs outside. Open domains stimulate participation in these projects by a much wider scale and accelerate progress that advances the overall market. For example, Philips. They have a high-tech campus with over 150 employees. That Supporting that campus became really expensive, so Philips invited other companies and their R&D teams onto the campus. With that move, the campus went from being an expense to being a revenue center. Putting inside-out moves into practice can come with many challenges. Applying these five moves into your company can help you cope in lean time and comes with a lot of advantages. However, it is not easy developing a program to put these moves into place. Some challenges to be considered are regulation of intellectual property, human resources, coordination of roles and interests, and negotiation with outside partners. Putting a plan into place is the most challenging part, but it is necessary if it will lead to saving your business. Darwin taught us that it's neither the strongest nor the most important species that survive. It's those that adapt best to changes in the environment. Inside out open innovation will enable your company to become more agile and responsive as it copes with tough times.